Known as the Swiss Wall, La Chavanat in Ivorias is one of the most dangerous ski slopes in the world. It is a disturbingly steep mogul run, and the slope gets icy quickly, turning the area between moguls into ice sheets. Not making a turn in these situations means that you miss the next mogul and pick up too much speed to make the next one. After that, starting off a tumble that ends a couple of hundred metres down the slope while hitting a few dozen icy bumps on the course. A number of years ago, as a reasonable but by no means good skier, I decided that I just had to conquer this slope. Why? Well, I can only now think that this was a moment of sheer madness. At the time, however, I just wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. Standing at the top of the slope, I looked down the 40 degrees with considerable fear, mixed with a little trepidation, mixed with determination, and a whole lot of cortisol and adrenaline pumping through my body. I took five minutes mustering up the college, letting all the young daredevils go flying past as they launched themselves at a pace straight down the slope, and then I gently pushed myself off. And that was it. No turning back. It's down to the bottom on skis or by falling. Gravity was not taking a day off. The comfort of gentler slopes was gone. It was exhausting. Knee jangling, hard, concentrated, deliberate movements. Desperately remembering to keep my weight down the hill, my edges as loose as I dared, turn after turn after turn after turn, around one mogul, push off, turn, shift, edge, again and again and again. Endorphins took over the adrenaline to mask the pain in my legs and screaming lungs. Finally, after what seemed an eternity, I arrived at the bottom of the slope. My legs like jelly, my heart racing, tears from the icy wind streaming down my face. Every fibre of my body was pulsing with electricity and sheer, unbounded joy as dopamine filled my entire being. I was alive. I had done it. I hadn't fallen. I had conquered the wall. I hadn't been fast. It hadn't been known. But it had been me. At the bottom of the wall is the ski lift back to the Avoria's top with an overpriced Swiss restaurant. I found a seat on the deck and ordered a glass of Vancho to celebrate my victory over my comfort zone, get a little warmth and indulge in a moment of rest and refreshment. As I looked back at the wall, I gave myself some respect for having conquered my fear and serotonin coursed through my veins. I look back on that day with delight. Yes, many people have successfully skied that slope. It's not a big deal to many, but it was a challenge for me. I had learned that when I get out of my comfort zone, that's where all the juice happens. Can you do that? And I mean, get out of your comfort zone. Don't worry, I'm not going to be dragging you down steep mountain sides. Metaphorical one, sure, but for real. Hmm. If you can press on and do that, it will make all the difference in achieving your goals and your purpose.